Hi everyone, so this is uh, just a quick video to shout out to all my subscribers and it's been a while since I've touched base with you all, but I wanted to introduce you all to something truly revolutionary in the world of physics, in the world of quantum technology, the world of metaphysics as well, really in the world of science. Uh, there's a convergence of science and spirituality that's been taking place for many years now. And I was recently in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates, uh, probably about a month ago, and a very fascinating and very funny scientist stepped up on the stage named Nassim Haramein. And I hope I didn't just butcher that name too badly. But anyway, an amazing gentleman who brought laughter to the room through physics discussions. How is that possible? And uh, to watch people from around the world who were attending this Tony Robbins conference get up and say that they were doctors of physics and, and astronomy and, and different uh, uh, aspects, different departments within uh, different uh, fields of science, say that they actually felt that they now loved physics. Uh, uh, that was pretty interesting to see. And these people had a new understanding and appreciation for the research of Dr. Haramein. So anyway, one of the technologies that he has created through his scientific understanding of, of, uh, of the world of physics and at a quantum level especially, he, he and his team created technology that connects us in this third dimension with the, I don't even know what to call it, I can describe it to you, but basically with the essence of everything that is the matrix, the very foundation of everything in existence. Some may even call that the God particle. I don't know if that's what they're calling it, but here is what I understand based on what I learned at this conference. Dr. Hiramein and his team have studied vacuum space. So when we create a vacuum in physics, we are extracting all matter, we're extracting all energy, and that is what quantifies as a vacuum, right? Wrong. Because what Dr. Haramein talked about was, even though we extract matter and we extract energy out of the equation of what is a vacuum in regards to space, they have found that there is a quantum level, there is a sub, a, a sub I don't even know the word, there's something that is foundational that exists in that vacuum that is almost like a universal field of energy. And so they call that zero point energy. And this zero point field, if you will, uh, uh, is really a, a limitless field. They're, they find that there are oscillations of energy within this field. Why is that important? Well, it's important because uh, Nikola Tesla, sci uh, scientists such as Einstein, they all refer to this, uh, this field of limitless energy. And so Dr. Haramein and his team have begun to grow crystals in laboratories inside a vacuum in this space that is a quantum type field. And in this field, it gives these crystals properties that connects those who wear the crystals to this zero point field. And the zero, zero point field really is the vitality or the vitalistic energies of the universe. It gives life to everything, they believe. So uh, I've already been hearing from friends of mine who have been wearing these and uh, they've been traveling that their intuitive abilities are enhanced. Uh, maybe so, I'm not sure. Maybe they're just excited to be wearing a, an amazing piece of technology. But uh, it is definitely an amazing uh, thing that's been created. Uh, Dr. Haramein and his team actually have studies of these crystals when the crystals are placed in, uh, next to growing plants or seeds or different substrates that they're working with. There's a vitalistic or a life force change within those, those organisms, those plants. What they find is the plants grow much more rapidly and robustly. There's no uh, seedlings that are very spindly and, and don't produce, or there's not a large amount of, of death amongst the seedlings that are growing. So there's actually an increase in the number of seeds that are vitalistic, that are life, uh, have life potential. 
So that speaks a lot about these crystals and what they can do. So if you put the crystals in water, you change the quantum state of that water. You bring more vitality into the water. What is the human condition? Uh, incredibly high, something like 90% water within our body. So if we are wearing or holding these crystals in proximity to our body, think about what that's doing to our quantum field, the essence of who we are. Uh, so just fascinating. So I wanted to uh, actually unveil my art crystal here on this live video feed. And so we're going to do that right now. I haven't even opened it, just pulled it out of the box. So this is the beautiful container that it comes in. And it says arc. I don't even know what it means. I think it means advanced resonance kinetics. Could be wrong anyway. So let's open this beauty, beauty up and see what's in here. Lovely casing. They've done a nice job in packaging, as you can see. Love it. And you go inside, there's a use and care guide, which is uh, going to be helpful for keeping it clean and in top order. There's actually a certificate of authenticity with a serial number. Love it. And then on the inside is a beautiful uh, felt, is that the word? A felt container. Beautiful blue. Very nice jewelry box. Let's see what I've earned myself and here we go this is the famous arc crystal that is grown and set in a pure titanium casing let's see if we can get that a little closer for you guys to look at isn't that spectacular now you guys some of you guys know that i'm a nerd so uh props to the nerds out there but uh, i definitely love this it's a very interesting you can even see a glint of the faceting of the crystal on the inside that is held inside the titanium casing. There's the little glint on the inside. Beautiful. And that is worn on a titanium chain. Very excited. Now what's interesting is uh, you may not be able to see in the very middle can you see the triangle in the middle right there? See that triangle with the little glint of the reflective crystal? You see all of that? That actually can pop out. I don't know if I can do it, but let's see what I am capable of doing on this live feed. Whoa, there you go. Now I know how to do it. So there are actually magnets inside here. So let me show you how I do it. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to push down. I can feel the magnets pulling on the unit. And as I extract it, it is left with the casing, the titanium casing. Let's put that down. And we have the most beautiful and spectacular crystal that has been produced in the vacuum of space in a laboratory. It actually took several weeks to grow this one crystal. It was grown in a state that was connected to the oscillations of the universe. So it's connected to the quantum field, the zero point field, which is the matrix of everything that is vitalistic or life-giving in the universe. Does that make sense? Probably not. It's okay. It's still pretty. So actually these pieces can connect magnetically to all of the other pieces. Uh, if you have friends that have these, you can take them. They will literally connect facet to facet. And you can create like a, if you know Star, uh, Star Trek, like a Borg cube or actually like a Borg uh, spherical uh, organism ship that's the word so anyway fascinating and uh, if you will look up dr nasim haramine art crystal peru you will see groups of numerous people that put together i'm not kidding a mass of these crystals that uh they they created this sphere and they put that into this sacred uh spring that came out of the uh the the Oh, I can't even think of the name of it. In Peru, those famous, those famous uh, ruins up in the mountains. And uh, they place these crystals in there to bless the waters that go and flood into the country of Peru. Absolutely stunning. So very excited to have my art crystal. I've only been waiting about six weeks. Ah, took forever. But my baby has been birthed and, it, and I welcome it home. So I'll have to come up with a name for this one. Uh, but anyway, folks, so that is my art crystal from Dr. Her Nassim Haramine, and uh, you can go online and look it up. And uh, this has been an interesting experience 
with you guys today on, on YouTube Live. I'm going to start uh, hosting more of these YouTube videos. I hope that you will check back from time to time. Make sure that you click the subscribe button because my goal is by Christmas to hit 100 so I can take advantage of some of the video blogging technologies that, that come when I have 100 subscribers, then I can pump it to a next level. That's my goal. I want to get this channel up and going, all right? Love you guys. And remember, check me out at RevKevinLee.com, Senior Minister for the Metaphysical Chapel of South Florida. You can check that community uh, church out, and that's at MetaphysicalChapel.com. Love you guys, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Love it. Oh my gosh, love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Now you guys can see my altar. I still don't know how to turn this off, but it is pretty funny. Share. Wonderful. <laughs>